Hey everybody, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas Scal Help on Facebook. Alright, I want to show you guys how to use all of the things that we get in the Hungry JPEG. All of their font bundles because it's really wonderful and we can really make a lot of neat things out of it. Um, this is one that I made up. Um, just pulled some stuff in and put it on there. Um, let me pull this up though. This is page four and this is out of the May bundle. So in order to use this you can come up to your SVG, go into your bundle and then pull it out. This is in the part well in the edit editable ornaments and I click the AI. <clears throat> so you click that and you bring it in and it will take a while to pop up. Okay so then when it's up come up to object and click on group. And for some reason for me whenever I have an AI up and I click something it takes forever for it to respond I don't know why it does that but just be aware that it does take a long time even when you go to move it it just lags and lags okay so about three minutes later it uh, finally broke apart or ungrouped so let's go up here to the preview button we'll click that so that we can see alright so you can see and this is off the page, so of course, or off the mat, so it won't show anything. But this is all the cut lines. And I want to single this one out right here. Okay, so these will all be cut, so that's a good thing. So that we know it'll work. So, let's single this one out. We're going to pull it up and out of the way. And as you see, it's just kind of acting a little different. A little slow. Okay, let's move it up a little bit more. I want to get it out of the way so I can just delete this whole thing. So I'll come back when I have it deleted. And what I do is I just come through here. Why did it do that? See, just a little on the different side. I just come through here. I will select the whole thing. Then I right click and pull up the this file. I will right click it and then delete it there. Okay, I finally got everything, <coughs> excuse me, off the screen. And I wanted to show you something, see if it'll do it. Okay, I come up here, and I go to select that. Oh, no. Well, yeah, you can go like this and get it. But let's say um, if you didn't know how to do that, and you're trying to pull something down um, and it's just not getting it, or let's say there's a piece hiding up here and you cannot get to it, Go to edit, hit select all, okay? I just wanted to give you that, you know, little bit of, uh, of a tip, if you may. Gosh darn it. <sighs> Leave it up to me. Okay, so let's pull this down here. And let's blow it up. Make it really big. And this is a very, very pretty um, wreath, as you can see. Now, a lot of you may think, well, what the heck can I do with that? Well, if you want to um, print this out, oh, boy, that got really big. Okay. Let's drag it over here. If you want to print this, I will show you how to change it to a draw. What you do is you come over here to the wrench icon, and you see it says cut. So I will show you. You go to your preview there's the cut line. Let me take the cut line off and it disappears. There are no draw lines. Okay. So come over here and draw to a pen. Alright. So now let's come up here show the cut lines. There are no cut lines any longer. Show draw lines. Aha! It has now become a fully drawn file. So if you save this, and I did work with Craft Edge on creating this for us because before there were errors. Um, it was not working appropriately for us scan and cut owners. Okay, so now when you do this, 
it will work appropriately. Okay, so that is how you do it. You come over here and you change it this way. All right. So that is how you go about um, taking a beautiful wreath like this that we get in the Hungry JPEG files and creating a draw file. All right, I will go show you how that well we can use some of the beautiful fonts. Okay, and to pair fonts with this, <clears throat> I do not go through my font list. I have over 300,000 fonts on my computer. Um, so what I do to make sure that I get a font that goes with this, I actually go into my um, computer's um, file system here, and I go in, and I actually have a Hungry JPEG um, file folder. And I will find, let's see here, what did I just do with it? Um, I will find my file folder, um, and I will find the actual um, font that I used that with. And um, I was reading, uh, as I'm doing this, I'll tell you about this. I was reading the, okay, so what's this called? This is called Hartwell. Um, so I will go back in and I will find Hartwell in my fonts here. But I was reading um, a post from one of the font designers um, at Font Shopaholics on Facebook. Um, that's where I buy a lot of my fonts through them. Come on little thing, work for me please. But they were talking about um, their preference for using um, OTFs instead of TTFs because of their performance um, and how they work with designing. And it was very interesting and that post was just the other day. So if you go over um, and you know apply for membership at Font Shopaholics, um, get in there and read. And then they have sales um, like uh, Laura Worthington, uh, Debbie Cimentelli, um, there's a whole bunch of other ones, but those are my two favorite designers. Um, they're there, and they will tell you, I mean, they will actually respond to any and all questions, but they'll tell you about the difference, and it's really neat to learn about the difference between OTF and TTF. Okay, so this is, my, my wreath was from the Hartwell collection, so I went in and pulled up the Hartwell, and made sure it was loaded, <clears throat> onto my system and then also into my scale here. Okay, and you do that by going to load font um, after it's installed on your computer and you do that by when I was just in there and found the font, make sure when you clicked on it that you click install and that will install it onto your system and then you come in here and load it that way and I do have a tutorial on that as well. Okay. So let's come in here and let's say we want to do just welcome. Okay, let's make it a little bigger. Oh, I need not sink. Sorry. Okay, let's change it here. Bring it over. And let's do a center. Okay. So, I know that this is going to be a double layer file, so you can um, create another page. And send that one to page 5. So that when you go, you can um, either draw or cut this, okay, or you can do both, <clears throat> whatever you choose. This will be one file, so you will go up, you will export this, <clears throat> and I actually do have my stick in there, so I can actually show you. You'll go up here, you will come here, you will click FCM, as you can see I have a million of them there, name your file, and click save. Then you will come to this page, do the exact same thing, all right? So that is how you will do it. And you see there is little kind of, oops, sorry, clicked the wrong one, guys. 
you'll see there are little marks in here. Okay, that will be cut out of your vinyl. All right, or like if you were to draw it with a pen, let's see here. This is what's going to be cut just like that. All right, which I think is a really cool look. Like um, if you wanted to put this on, let's say, acetate and cut it out, or if you wanted to cut this out and put it on a piece of wood, I think that would look very pretty. So this is all things that you can, you know, do with the stuff that comes with the Hungry JPEG. It is absolutely unlimited. And the really pretty watercolors that we have, let me see if I can go pull those up. Hang on a minute. Okay, like these. This is something that you can do the print and scan it in with the scan and cut. Okay, and then like cut. Oops, sorry about that. Cut the outline out with it. Okay, and then here's the leaves, and then assemble it that way. That would be absolutely beautiful. So you can pretty much use every single thing that come in these bundles. Um, that is one of the benefits of having a scan and cut, so that we can scan it in and cut it out. Um, and remember, if it appears like it's really hard to do, like if this isn't dark enough, um, go ahead and use the acetate overlay, and then trace around it. Okay. All right, guys. I hope this helps you um, to be able to understand how absolutely awesome the Hungry JPEG is. And we are so glad to have them uh, along for the ride with us. Thanks, guys.